I'm joined by Dr. Tom Price, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, who joins us this morning from Aspen, Colorado. Mr. Secretary, thank you for joining me. One of the most scathing... Oh, thanks, Dana. Good to be with you this morning. Thank you. One of the most scathing criticisms of the new Senate Republican bill to repeal Obamacare didn't come from Democrats. It came from Republican Senator Dean Heller of Nevada. Listen to what he said. The biggest lie uh, in health care uh, in the last 10 years was if you like your doctor, you can keep him. Second biggest lie is your premium is going down. And there isn't anything in this piece of legislation that will lower your premiums. Mr. Secretary, that is a Republican senator saying that you and your fellow Republicans who are pushing this bill are lying to voters when you claim that premiums are going to go down under your plan. What's your response? Yeah, well, I don't know that that's what he's saying. I think there's a there, there's a misunderstanding about what the entire plan is, and the fact of the matter is that it's the bill is part of the plan, and then the kinds of things that we're doing through the uh, through the Department of Health and Human Services add on to that. So that our goal is to decrease premiums, is to make it so that that health coverage is actually affordable again. Right now, we've got premiums that are going through the roof. We've got deductibles that are skyrocketing. You've got folks with a health coverage card but no care because they can't afford the deductible. So the status quo is, is, is unsustainable completely. And so we've got to act. Action is absolutely vital. And we look forward to continuing to work with Senator Heller. I've had wonderful conversations with him and uh, we've had conversations with the governor in Nevada and look forward to working through but this so that we have a health care system that actually works for the American people. But Secretary Price, you said you have goals and aspirations, but he is saying point blank that the bill that is before the Senate does not bring premiums down. In fact, it will do the opposite. Can you promise that at the end of the day, what the president will sign will bring premiums down for a majority of Americans? Republican governor who is concerned that your plan would erode the lives of the most vulnerable. What's your response? Yeah, it just wouldn't happen. Uh, and we're continuing to work with the governor to, to make certain that they understand and appreciate the, the, the plan in its entirety, the kind of waivers and options that we're offering states, the kind of re extra resources that are going to be available for states to cover the most vulnerable. Look, I'm a physician. I took care of patients for over 20 years. Uh, the the health care system that, I, that I'm supporting and will continue to support is one that actually responds to patients' needs, not just in Nevada, but in, in Pennsylvania and in Florida and Washington State and in Maine and, and, and New Mexico, all across this country. We've got a health care system, again, that's working for government right now, but it's not working but, for patients. And there's Secretary a better way Price, to do this. But let's just stay specifically on this question about Medicaid, because uh, he's not the only Republican, actually both of them in Nevada are not the only Republicans who are concerned about Medicaid cuts. Just looking at the House bill,
wrong when he says his constituents, those who are the neediest, are going to lose coverage? He's not right about that? Well, I, I, Dana, I know that that's what, that, that, that the division is what news wants to do. The fact no, of the I'm matter asking. is what I'm we're trying to do is to bring facts. people together. Are, are, is he wrong? What, what, and, and what I'm telling you is that the system, the plan that we have would put in place would not allow individuals to fall through the cracks. Would not, we would not pull the rug out from under anybody. We would not have individuals lose coverage uh, and that, that, they, that they want for themselves and for their family. We want to make certain that health care is available to all Americans. Right now, we've got 28 million Americans who are uninsured who don't have insurance right now in the current plan. Is that a plan that works for patients? Absolutely not. That's the kind of thing we're trying to fix. I, I want to look at a different part of the uh, of the plan before the Senate, and, and, and certainly what we saw in the House as well, and that is that it would slash taxes on the wealthiest Americans. Looking at the bill that came out of the House, billionaire investor Warren Buffett said that your plan would reduce his tax bill by 680 thousand dollars and he has a question for public officials that I wanted to pose to you. Let's listen. I think it would be very interesting for the constituents of every congressman that voted for that bill to ask a question, just one question. Are you above 250 on your adjusted gross income? And if you were, how much would you have saved from what you paid last year from this bill you just passed? So what's the answer? How much would you save under the House and Senate bills? Well, remember that, that Obamacare taxes were put in place to build a whole new government program, government-run health care. When, when you back out of that, when you make it so that you've got a patient-centered system where patients and families and doctors are running health care and not the federal government, then that of, of necessity allows you to do so with not as much money. And so we believe it's absolutely vital that we decrease taxes for the American people. deductibles up, coverage going away. We haven't even begun to talk about uh, the, the, the states where they're going to have counties that have no insurance issuer next year. That's not a system that works for patients. That's what we're trying to fix. I'm not sure Warren Buffett is going to be satisfied that he got an answer to his question, but I appreciate well, I'm it. Not sure Warren Buffett is interest, I'm not sure Warren Buffett is interested in covering those individuals in those counties that won't have insurance. What are we going to do about that? That's the key. We've got to make certain that we're looking at every single American citizen and every single individual across this land who needs coverage that they want for themselves and for their family, not that the government forces them to buy. Well, we'll see what happens this week with the Senate and this very, very important bill that's before them. Thank you so much for your time this morning, Mr. Secretary. Thanks, Dana.